with that summary behind you, I think what we'll do now is I'll pass over to Chris and yep. see if we've got any further questions on this. Yep, thank you very much. So we can open up the floor for questions. Um, in fact, there's one question. Um, out of the five uh, cases, uh, which case do people often find more, most difficult or where you can often find that they don't have the right evidence or have the optimism bias? Okay, so the biggest case in there is the economic case because the economic case um, is the one where you're trying to evidence value for money for the economy as a whole, so for the government as a whole. Um, it's also the case where you will start off with um, a framework for, and, and then that fr that's the options framework I'm talking about and you're trying to actually understand how many options you have now that can be a dozen options or maybe even 15 options depending upon what you're trying to do trying to narrow that down in a planned and progressive way is a bit of a nightmare mm. uh, trying to actually attach um, finances and monetary values to some of the benefits and disbenefits can be difficult as well mm. and this is the case where it all goes in so that's the case where it's very easy to trip up and it's very easy to make a mistake and you shouldn't go into this with any sort of predetermined sort of solution in mind we shouldn't mm. be going into this and saying the solution is this or that it's a case of building it all up yeah Okay. I mean, I think no one would actually uh, foreseen how public finance have changed over the pandemic. And in a way, I think all the business cases that made before the pandemic could not have kind of foreseen the situation that we are in now. No. But does this mean that there is really no way to future proof your business case? Because evidence do change. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, I mean, when you're doing, doing your strategic case, for example, a, a good way of doing a strategic case is when you do your sort of your external view of the world, um, you do like a pestle analysis, okay? Um, so you do a, when I say pestle, it's uh, political, economic, social, technical, um, um, legal, and environmental, okay? Mm -hmm. That gives you your pestle. Uh, with an LE on the end or an EL, yes. whichever one you want. Okay, but that gives you the main elements that you should really do your sort of horizon scanning on. Now, I think six months ago, well, not six months ago, a year ago, would anyone have seen COVID coming down the line? No. I mean, when was the last huge pandemic that we had across the world? The last huge one was probably 100 years ago. Yes. You know, the flu pandemic at the end of World War One. So the likelihood of there being another pandemic was very low. But now, of course, that's high on the radar, and we know that that's high on the radar. And we may want to think of, rather than thinking of specifically a pandemic, we can think of things like um, worldwide events. You know, it's like the economic crash in 2008, uh, the financial mm -hmm. crash in 2008. You know, we didn't see that coming. And on a regular basis, there is a cycle of things that upset the world, the world economy. So there are times that we're going to go through highs and lows of our own internal economies in whichever country we live in going high and low peaks and troughs. And we need to be able to actually understand that those can come in. So these are the sort of things that we need to be able to understand if we're doing a very large business case mm. in our strategic case. 